Ladies, today I'm going to show you how to fix a hole in a wall. I don't know anything about walls, let alone American walls, so if I can do it, you can do it too. Today I have a, a hole in my garage wall and uh, as you can see it's actually caved in. Uh, it's a pretty large one uh, and it seems like I'm gonna have to go you know probably an inch before this um, crack here. I'm gonna take this crack into, um, into account too and the first thing to do is to really measure the size of this hole. So, um, I'm gonna go about an inch before that uh, measure. So I think we are at about six, uh, yeah, 16 inches, and then I'm gonna measure from here and actually so from here to maybe an inch over uh, under, so 14 inches. Uh, now that I know the measurements. What I'm going to have to do is uh, take my piece of drywall and cut it to the right size, so 16 by 14 inches. The next step is to actually go on the other side of the drywall and try to snap the dry sheet. It's the first time I do it, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, you're supposed to put your knee against it and try to snap it. Yeah, that's not working the way I want it. Let's try the other side. Ah! This one worked. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'm going to have to cut this now. Okay, so this is the piece that I cut, and you will, I mean, if you do it yourself, you'll see that the, it's not really smooth. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we are the only, you know, don't worry too much about it. Just now the next step is to actually um, draw the, the size of this uh, piece on the, on the wall. And so to do this, I'm going to use the piece itself. Um, you remember how I wanted to have one e inch uh, after this, so I'm going to think it's about this size. And I want also to use this line here. Uh, okay, so this seems to be where I want to put it, but I want to make sure this is leveled. So now... Okay, and this looks good. So, I'm gonna draw and okay, this side, this side, and now the tricky part. This requires some flexibility. We'll see what it gives. Huh, not too bad. Okay, now I'm gonna cut through the... Um, um, so, so I'm gonna, with my utility knife, I'm gonna follow the line and just cut through the paper. So make sure to follow the line.
And now what we want to do is remove this whole part. So we have to make sure we don't um, break, or sorry, we don't um, hit um, cables, electrical cables when we do this. So we can use a, a saw and we'll just make sure to do this safely. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be here uh, a while. So to help me, I'm gonna uh, create these cuts here um, towards the center. Okay, another one here. I think I'm going to have to buy a new thought saw. So, um, as you saw, I kind of broke this. So I, we made a short break and I got this in the store. It's a, um, a drywall saw. So, sorry. So we are going to see if it works better. Uh, and Alright, so I managed to clean this little part here by using actually the utility knife and you know by, by so I'm going to show you how I did it maybe here, I, con I continued, so I went this way um, and continued you know repeating this movement on this um, on the same area until as I was very close to the wall here I just had to push inward and it made a clear cut like this. So now, because I have a clear cut, I'm, I'm going to continue with the drywall saw. I'm trying to have it fit. Um, and to do that, I'm going to use some sandpaper to uh, make everything uh, smooth. Because the wall is so uh, large, I'm going to provide some support behind uh, with this piece of drywall that I'm not going to use anyway. Uh, so I'm going to place it this way and I'm going to fix it with a few screws, uh, drywall screws. So, there we go. And if you're a, a woman watching me right now, um, you have to know that I'm actually um, really scared of uh, messing up my wall and things, and it's the first time I do this. So I've practiced on a, on, you know, on a piece of dry sheet before that, and um, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, now that this is in place, um, and it's you know it's not moving so I'm gonna take my piece of drywall this is the part I've been waiting for since I started this task and there looks good
Okay, so now that everything is in place, I'm gonna have to uh, put some sparkling on, on top of it. And um, there is a little bit of a difference between uh, this dry um, wall and this one. Uh, this is because of the different thickness. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna fill it up with sparkling. So I used the, the pink one, or I bought uh, the pink one. Uh, it's uh, apparently pink when it's uh, wet and um, it becomes white as it dries. Um. So let's try this. Now that I've finished using the small spatula, I'm going to use the bigger one and in order to flatter, flatten it. So and I'm going to remove the excess by using this. I finished applying um, the, the sparkling, so um, now I'm just going to let it dry. It has to turn white and then I know that it's ready for the second coat. And I think it's going to, uh, you know, if it was a smaller hole, maybe we wouldn't have needed a second coat, but I think this one is going to require one. Um, so we'll see in a, in a few hours when it's ready. Okay, so it took a little over 24 hours actually to get to get dry. Uh, now that it is dry, I will use the sandpaper to to make the surface completely smooth, and then put another coat of um, uh, spark sparkling. Okay, so let's put the second coat now. Okay, so you see, it was important to really uh, use the two utensils to make sure that there, there is no difference between uh, the wall and our fix, uh, because you, we always have to keep in mind that when we use the sandpaper, uh, we are going to be able to remove the, the excess, but we are not going to be able to fill it, uh, any hole. Uh, so I, I think that I got it to the point where I'm going to be able to remove the excess with the sandpaper uh, when I'm done. And I think that after, after that, after the sandpaper, the, 
the paint is going to take care of the rest and make it all smooth and nice. Uh, so again, we'll let it sit for 24 hours and come back to it after. Okay, so now that it's all dry, we are going to smooth out uh, the, the section uh, with the wall so that it's completely flat and when we paint, we won't have any difference between the wall and this surface here. All right, this is nice and smooth now. It's ready for the paint. Yay! I fixed my hole in the wall! I'm probably gonna need to apply a second layer of painting, but I'm good for now. And this was by far my most challenging fix to date, but remember, if I can do it, you can do it too. Applying the spackling was just like icing a cake, you will be fine.